SD KFZ, 13 and 14 medium armoured cars, circa 1934. This was a medium 4x2 car based on the chassis of the Adler Standard 6 passenger car. In 1932 the German army issued a requirement for this kind of vehicle and after extensive trials it was placed into production in late 1933 entering service in 1934 being inexpensive and simple to produce. It quickly appeared in relatively large numbers being issued to cavalry units as a reconnaissance vehicle the engine was mounted in front with a four-speed gearbox which drove a conventional rear axle. The hull was box-shaped, with an open top and all-welded construction. The SDKFZ-13 had a driver in the front, with the vehicle gunner and commander sitting in the rear. The machine gun was pedestal-mounted, and had a limited traverse, with the main field of fire to the front. There was no radio set in the vehicle and consequently all communication was done by means of flags. The SDKFZ-14 was an unarmed radio car with a crew of three and a large framed aerial mounted above the crew compartment that when not in use could be folded down in line with the top of the crew compartment. These vehicles were known by their crews as bathtubs. Being two-wheel drive, the vehicles had poor cross-country performance, which was not helped by also having a high centre of gravity. The armour plate also gave very little protection to the crew, being only 8mm thick. These vehicles were built as training and reconnaissance cars for the new German army. Normally a section of SDKFZ-13 reconnaissance cars would normally operate alongside the KFZ-14 radio cars. Both vehicles were due to be replaced by the SDKFZ-221 heavy armoured car by 1939. But war came too soon and a large number of both the 13 and 14s were still in frontline use. They would see action in the Polish campaign, the invasion of the Low Countries, and France during 1939 and 1940. Vehicles for the non-motorised infantry units during the invasion of Russia in June 1941. Stats. Country Germany. Entered service 1934. Crew 2. Weight 2.2 tonnes. Dimensions 13 feet 8 inches. 4 foot 9 inches high. And width 5 feet 6 inches. Armament 17.92mm MG13. Machine gun secondary small arms. Armour maximum thickness 8mm. Power plant Adler 6 cylinder 60 horsepower petrol engine. Performance 70 kilometres or 44 miles per hour. That was, of course, on road. And range 186 miles. <clears throat> and this is, of course, where the KFZ-221, 222 and 223 family of armoured cars would have sprang from. And of course, the 222 probably being the most famous armoured car in German service in World War II. Certainly my favourite, anyway. Now these were also used along with the Kubelwagens as dummy tanks because of course Germany wasn't allowed to produce tanks even though as we all know they did. But I have a really good book by Tankograd and it actually shows these vehicles as dummy tanks with wood and canvas and really good and if I can find any of the photos I will put them onto the video. It's not my favourite armoured car Never really liked them. They were probably like a go-kart to drive. But at the end of the day, it was the best that was available back in the early 30s. And of course, many, many, many crews would have trained on these armoured cars to get them prepared for the Second World War. And more than likely, some were still in training units after 1941. I would imagine all of them would have then been passed to training units. So yeah, quite something. 
but as I said, not my favourite, but I just had to do a video of it. I hope the next video I can do, which fingers crossed will be this Sunday, will be aircraft accident investigation circa 1936 to do with the de Havilland DH-86A. So fingers crossed. 